Welcome to Infigyan. Today in this video, we are going to take up one very interesting quadratic equation challenge. 2x plus 1 times 3x plus 1 times 5x plus 1 times 30x plus 1 equal to 10. We are going to calculate all four solutions. So let's get started by writing our equation 2x plus 1 times 3x plus 1 times 5x plus 1 times 30x plus 1 and our RHS is 10. Now we have 30x available here. So we want to convert all the coefficients in other brackets equal to 30. So here we need to multiply with 15. 15 times 2 will give us 30. Here we need to multiply with 10. 10 times 3 will give us 30. Here we will multiply with 6 so that 6 times 5 will give us 30. So in the RHS we will multiply with 15, with 10, with 6. Now we have to simplify LHS and RHS. 15 times 2x, 30x. 15 times 1, 15. 10 times 3x, 30x. 10 times 1, 10. 6 times 5x, 30x. 6 times 1, 6. 30x plus 1. And RHS will be 10 times 10 is 100. 15 times 6 is 90. So we will write here 9000. Now we have 30x, 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 30x. So let us say 30x equal to A. So we will get our equation in variable A. A plus 15 times A plus 10 times A plus 6 times a plus 1 equal to 9000. Now 15 plus 1 is 16 and 10 plus 6 also 16. So we will club first and last bracket, second and third bracket all together. So we will write our equation a plus 15 and last bracket was a plus 1. Second and third bracket a plus 10, a plus 6 equal to 9000. Now we have to multiply these two brackets and these two brackets. We will get a square plus 15a plus 1a 16a plus 15. Here we will write a square plus 16a plus 10 times 6, 60 equal to 9000. Now we are going to split this 15 and split this 60. So we can write a square plus 16a and 15 we can write 75 over 2. And then we will subtract 45 over 2. 75 minus 45, 30. 30 over 2 is 15. Similarly, in the second bracket, we will write a square plus 16a plus 60. Now 60 we will write 75 over 2 plus 45 over 2. 75 plus 45, 120 over 2 is 60. RHS will be 9000. Now you can see here, if we will call this as P, and if we will consider 45 over 2 is Q. Similarly here, this is P, this is Q. So we have P minus Q in first bracket, 
p plus q in second bracket we can use difference of two squares formula so we'll be writing p square minus q square let's write we will get a square plus 16a plus 75 over 2 and then we will put whole square this is p square minus q square is 45 over 2 whole square in rhs we have 9000 now we will take this negative term to the rhs so it will be added with 9000 we will write here a square plus 16a plus 75 over 2 whole square will be equal to 9000 plus 45 over 2 whole square so we will write 45 over 2 whole square will be equal to 9000 plus 45 square is 2025 over 4 now we will simplify now we will take lcm so denominator will be 4 here we have to write 9000 times 4 36000 plus 2025 now we will add 36000 with 2025 we will get 38,025 over 4 and if we will check this is perfect square of 195 and denominator is 2 square so we can write a square plus 16a plus 75 over 2 whole square will be equal to 195 over 2 whole square now we will square root both sides and we can write here a square plus 16a plus 75 over 2 will be equal to plus minus 195 over 2 so we will get two quadratic equation one with plus 195 over 2 another with minus 195 over 2 let me write equations here a square plus 16a plus 75 over 2 equal to plus 195 over 2 and second equation will be a square plus 16a plus 75 over 2 equal to minus 195 over 2. Now we will take all the terms to LHS. We will get a square plus 16a and if I will take 195 to the LHS, it will become both 75 minus 195 which is minus 120 over 2 so minus 60 and here we will be writing a square plus 16 a 75 plus 195 270 over 2 which will be equal to 135 equal to 0 now we will solve both the equations using completing the square method so I will write here a square plus 16a in the LHS and let us take 60 to the RHS. Now coefficient of a is 16, half of 16 is 8, a square of 8 is 64. So we will add here 64, so in the RHS. Now LHS will give us a plus 8 whole square we will write a plus 8 whole square in the left hand side 
in RHS it is 124. Now if we will factor 124, this is 4 times 31. So we can write 2 square times 31. Now we will take square root both sides. So I can write here a plus 8 equal to plus minus 2 square root 31. Now we will subtract 8 from both the sides. a will be equal to minus 8 plus minus 2 square root 31. a was our substitution. We will put at last our substitution a was 30x. Now we will take up second quadratic equation. Similarly, I will write here first two terms a square plus 16a in the LHS and then we will take minus 135 in the RHS. Again, half of a is 8, a square of 8 is 64. So we have to add 64 to both sides. Again we will say LHS will give us a plus 8 whole square and RHS will be minus 71. A square is coming out negative so we can write 71 i square in our right hand side. Now we will take a square root both sides. So a plus 8 will be equal to plus minus i square root 71. Now we have to take away 8 from both the sides. So we will write minus 8 plus minus i square root 71. So we have in total 4 a values four solutions. Now we have to replace a with substitution 30x. So let us write our equations here first. This is our first equation. a is equal to our first solution. Now in place of a we can write 30x. So we will be writing 30x equal to minus 8 plus minus 2 square root 31. Now we will divide both sides by 30. So from left hand side 30 will be cancelled out from numerator denominator. We are going to get first two real solutions. So I can write here 1 comma 2 and here we have to divide by 2. So we will write minus 4 plus minus square root 31 over 15. Now we can write x1 minus 4 plus square root 31 over 15 and we can write our second real solution x2 will be minus 4 minus square root 31 over 15. So these are our real solutions. Now we will consider the complex A which was A equal to minus 8 plus minus I square root 71. Now our substitution was 30x equal to A. So in place of A we can write 30x. So 30x equal to minus 8 plus minus i square root 71. Now we will divide both sides by 30. So from LHS we are going to get x3 comma 4. In RHS we will write minus 8 over 30 plus minus i times square root 71 over 30. Or we can write x3 comma 4. This will be equal to minus 4 over 15 plus minus i times square root 71 over 30. 
so we have in total two complex and two real solutions let me write here overall solutions these are our real solutions now let me write complex solutions here it is so in total two real and two complex solutions i hope friends you will like this video thank you so very much for watching do not forget to like share subscribe bye bye till next video good luck take care bye bye